Hi there. We're going to be using the graphing calculator to find maxes and mins. This is the uh, special use technology, um, uh, the couple of problems in there that you're going to be doing to learn how to use your graphing calculator to find maxima and minima. So let's go to it. Here's your first problem. And yours will say something like this. You know you can always find a similar problem. But we have f of x equals 1.8x to the fourth minus 4.5x squared plus 4.86. And we're told what the window sh setting should be. So the first thing I'm going to do is click on Window. And I'm going to change to these settings. I'm going to change to negative 4 down, positive 4, down, negative 8, down, and positive 8. Uh, nope, nope, back up. Accidentally hit scale there, and I don't want to change my scale. I want that to be positive 1 and stay there. All right, now I'm going to go down to y min, which is going to be negative 8 and down to y max, which is going to be positive 8. And now, now I'm going to go to y equals, and I'm going to type in my function, which is 1.8x caret 4. Now, to make the cursor go back down, hit your right arrow key. There we go. Now minus 4.5x squared, and there's a handy dandy button that does that automatically, plus 4.86. So there we go. Now I'm going to graph it. Okay, clearly looking at these four, A is the one I want. So I'm going to click on A and I'm going to, whoops, I'm going to check my answer. Good job. Now I'll hit continue. All right. On what interval is the function increasing? Now, I don't the heck know. I may have to find the minima, all right, because clearly the function is going up from that minimum, from that relative minimum, to this relative maximum. And it's also going up from this relative minimum uh, all the way up forever and ever. So let's see if we have, we have negative one point. Now, where is it increasing? It looks to me like that could be negative 1.118. That definitely is x equals 0. And then positive 1.1118 to infinity, that is to this infinity, x equals it. Well, x can't equal infinity, but infinity in the x direction. All right, I am going to say a. Let's see what it says. This could have taught me not to guess, right? All right, continue. Now, on what interval is it decreasing? Well, f remember, uh, we're talking about the domain. On what section of the domain is the graph going down? So from negative infinity, negative infinity out here on the x-axis, into negative 1.118. So that would be negative infinity to negative 1.118 and x equals 0 to positive 1.118. So I believe that b will be our answer. And these are the two intervals on which the graph is decreasing. OK. Now. If there are any relative maxima, where do they occur? Well, there is one relative max right here. 
in its little neighborhood, it's the, the tallest point. Now you can't say it's the absolute maximum, maximum because the, the, uh, the graph goes up forever and ever. There will always be points higher than, than this point right here. So however, this occurs at x equals 0. So let us say x equals 0. And we're going to check our answer. Yes, we're correct. Now, the relative minima occur when x equals, all right, type an integer or a decimal, round it to three decimal places as needed, and use a comma to separate the answers as needed. Well, we already know that from these answers, right? The, uh, the relative minima occur at negative 1.118 and at positive 1.118. So that's what I'm going to type. All right, so negative 1.118 comma, there's my comma, positive 1.118. Ah, wrong. Okay, negative 1.118 comma, positive 1.118. So many buttons here. There we go. All right. Oh, we got it right. Doggone. Well, let's move on to the next one. All right. The temperature of a patient during an illness is given by the function below, where T is the temperature in degrees Fahrenheit at time T, in days after the onset of the illness. Graph the function using a graphing calculator and use the maximum feature to find at what time the patient's temperature was highest. All right, what was the highest temperature? Now we're being told to set the window. T is acting like X. T almost always acts like X, little t. So I, I, we're being told that X, that is T, is going to be between 0 and 12. So I am going to uh, reset the window so that X minimum is 0 and x maximum is 12 and now we're probably going to go up into the hundreds of degrees you know you have, you have a temperature if your temperature is 100 however I'm going to go zoom, zoom fit and that should do it for us so let's see um, all right all right all right y equals I'm going to hit clear and I'm now going to type in negative point one x squared plus one point six x plus ninety eight point six. Hmm. Okay, now I'm going to push the zoom button and I'm going to go down, down, down until I see Z fit. Right there. I'm going to see if that works. I'm going to hit enter. All right. Well, at this time, Okay, at this time. Now, if we change, what are we looking for? We're, we're looking for 0 to 12. I thought we were looking for 0 to 12. This is going to be it. Let's see. Okay. Now, we're going to use maximum to find out exactly how many days. That is, what is x at the maximum? 
and we could guess that, but, but let's find out exactly. All right, I am going to go to second trace, and that will give me the calc menu. Second trace, there we are. And I want maximum, so I'm going to click on four. Now, what left bound means is it wants the cursor, and I see it blinking right here, but let, let me move it so we can see it. There, there's the cursor. Here's our maximum. You can barely see it because of the writing there, but you saw it before. The maximum we're looking for is right here, relative max. Actually, it's the absolute max also. So um, here's the cursor on the left. That's what left bound means. Put the cursor on the left of the maximum you're looking for. And I'm going to do that. I'm going to hit Enter. Now it says right bound. What we do is we, we take the right arrow key and bring the, the cursor, the blinker, over here to the right side of the maximum we're looking for. So here I go. I'm moving it, moving it, moving it, moving, 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 moving. Right there. It's on the right. And I'm going to hit Enter. Now guess means move back to the left. Try to put the cursor as close to being on top of the maximum as you can. And you rarely can get there. Then hit Enter. Okay. Now look at X right here. In fact, I'm going to go to View and Detach LCD so that you can see better. This seems to be saying eight days. Now, is little t hours? I'm looking back here. At, in, in degrees Fahrenheit, at time t in days, yes. So I would say eight days. I'm going to click on eight. No, wrong, wrong click. Okay, all right, I know. Click on eight. And I'm going to hit check answer. And it tells me I'm right. Now, what was the highest temperature? Doggone it, I did it again. If x is 8, y is 105. I'll go to one decimal point if needed. OK, I'm going to do it again just real fast because I blew it. Second trace, max, left, enter, right, run little guy, run, enter, guess, enter, oh well, okay, 105, Let's see what it does. Okay, we got that one right. Let's go on. It's always nice to get the right answer, you know? Okay, now evaluate the function. One of these, actually two of these, we're going to have to do in writing. And you can certainly do that, but I am going to use the calculator to do negative 7. So I am going to go back to y equals, then I'm going to hit clear. And I'm going to go to zoom, and I'm going to click on 6, which will put me back to the standard window. And I'm going to go back to y equals, and I'm going to say x square plus 7x plus 4. All right, so x squared plus 7x plus 4. Now I'm going to go second, trace. And what I'm looking for is the value. OK, I'm looking for the function value when x is negative 7. So I'm going to click Enter. And I'm going to click 
All right, see we have x equals, I'm going to click ne negative 7, enter. And I'm told that if x is negative 7, y is 4. So I'm going to put 4 here. Hello, I'm going to put 4. There's 4. Excellent. Now you put x plus 1 in both of those places, and you put negative x in there because I have nothing to write with. All right? So talk to you later. Bye-bye.